Auntie. I had to be solid because I had a boy to bring up. It was my job to be there. He never came into an empty house. What he could not make out was how I knew what he was up to something. <laughs> he was inventive and was always the leader. Every time he sat down, he never wasted a minute. And it was always either drawing or writing poetry or reading. He was a great reader. And he sang himself to sleep every night. And then uh, when I was 16, I re-established a relationship with my mother for about four years. She taught me music. She first of all taught me banjo, and from that I progressed to guitar. And then unfortunately she was uh, run over by an off-duty policeman who was drunk at the time. I lost her twice. Once as a five-year-old, where I was moved in with my auntie, and once again I was re-establishing a relationship with her. That was really a hard time. And it just absolutely made me very, very bitter. And the underlying chip on my shoulder that had a youth was really big then. It was very traumatic for me.